Spoiling for a fight, one he termed a political battle, Muranga governor issued a stern warning to the Muranga senator for making what he termed as reckless and insincere statements. He's a speaker, deputy speaker of that senate. And uh, it's ridiculous. He's saying that the senate didn't take the right decision. If Tukembi making the right decision was to impeach me, then he's very unfortunate. On his part, Senator Kembe Gitura says he will not engage in the trading of insults with the governor saying he is merely doing his oversight role. And if I am mandated to the constitution, I will continue to ask very difficult questions and I expect to get honest answers and I expect us to move from side shows to giving answers not to Kembe Gitura but to the people of Muranga County. Speaking at Deliverance Church in Muranga Town, Kembi asked the governor to answer queries raised over the purchase of a 34-acre piece of land in Makuyu, bought at 10 million shillings per acre, totaling to 340 million shillings. How much does one acre of land cost in Makuyu? If it is 10 million shillings, then I'm satisfied. If it is 2 million shillings an acre, or 2.5 or 3 million, then I'll be asking the question, how do you account? for the 7 million shillings that was over and above the true value of the land. If I ask that question, don't tell me that you can employ me a job, you can give me a job, because that's not, I'm not looking for a job by the way. The Senate Deputy Speaker says queries on the Governor's performance are in the Auditor General's report and the Senate Committee report that dealt with his impeachment. The divisions in Muranga County have even degenerated to physical confrontations towards MCAs and even witch hunting, with some MCAs being ejected from the Parliamentary Accounts Committee of the House. It is very wrong for those supporters to physically assault an MCA simply because he voted the way he voted in the impeachment, which is so many months ago. To resolve the issue, leaders and stakeholders from the county are pushing for reconciliation through dialogue among all the elected leaders. Already, all the MCAs have resolved to look past the impeachment that greatly divided the county. We are aware that there have also been differences between the county government or county executive and the Senate and parliament, some members of parliament. We will also seek or we also look forward to amicable solution. We discussed some of the problems that we face as, as the members of the county assembly and uh, uh, moving forward we have agreed that we are going to deal with these uh, problems uh, uh, by engaging other stakeholders within the county. As the differences between the governor and other elected leaders fester, only time will tell whether the resolution to dialogue instead of mudslinging and chest thumping will hold. Barry Lombani, NTV.